So, during my final middle school year, we had these promotion standards that had three levels of promoting. White being the lowest where you just had to pass all your classes. Green, which is higher than white, where you do stuff like community service and join a school club. And the highest being gold, where you maintain a high GPA, join clubs, do community service, and do a large project that benefits the school. In my opinion, I'm not sure this was the best system to use because you're kind of pressuring a bunch of angsty kids that are still dealing with their hormones. And the reward system never really did encourage students to be some kind of gold star, top of the crap student, you know? Because as distinguished promoters, my friend and I never really did look back at it and were super proud of it. And I even remember that towards the end of the year, some classes were asking about the issue, and all if not, almost everyone in the class raised their hand when asked if they wanted the system to be removed. But Julian, how does this apply to your clickbait title? Well, as I said, to promote in higher levels, a student must join a club. A friend and I joined the SEM club, which stood for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. The club was a mix of high school and middle school students that all just came for the grad requirements. Not gonna lie, some of the experiments were actually interesting, but some of them were also extremely tedious. I remember one where we had to watch ink dissolve in water, and it was taking a while so the students had to awkwardly sit there like, so uh, how's the weather? It's, it's good. The high school students did their experiments, which sometimes included fires and small explosions. Keep that in mind because it's going to be important. For the majority of the semester, the high schoolers' experiments had been contained and somewhat safe. But I would always overreact and duck under a table because I thought the explosions would reach us, even though we were always like, five feet away. On our second to final day of the club, the middle school group was scheduled to do the ice cream experiment, where you make ice cream by shaking certain ingredients in a bag. While we went out to the lunch benches, we made it so students had separate tables to work at. My group took the table in the back, which was a good distance away from the high schoolers' experiment. While everyone was setting up for the experiment, I walked over to one of the high schoolers who were prepping for theirs. And when I walked towards them, I noticed a bottle labeled methanol. Now pause. Keep in mind that the liquid is highly flammable and can make a big boom if not handled properly. The student lighting up the jug was actually the officer of the club. He was the one in charge of correcting our assignments and whatnot because he's got a background in science. So we all sort of trusted him with this. Just as everyone was about to start the ice cream experiment, the high schooler was holding a lit match over a huge glass jug, which had what I guess to be the methanol from earlier. Everyone kind of stopped what they were doing and just watched the high schoolers drop the match into the jug and we watched it slowly and slowly drop into the bottom of the jug. And can you guess what happened? The match dropped to the bottom of the jug, no one got hurt in the- <laughs> uh, Speaking of explosions, Happy New Year's everyone, nice to see we made it in one piece. Before they had dropped the match, I ducked like every other experiment they had done, but when I heard the loud pop, I stood up and I saw there were glass shards scattered absolutely everywhere, some of them actually reaching my group's work area. At first, I stood shocked and looked around because there were students that got injured and one of them even had a huge gash in their leg. After a good minute of processing the situation, I bolted to get some wet paper towels for the injured students. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have ran immediately after because it might have looked like I'd done it. <laughs> the area was closed off by medics, so I just decided to head home. The week after, my friend and I were the only two middle school students who attended the meeting, along with a couple other of the high school guys. We were finishing overdue experiments, and from our left, we could hear the guy that set off the explosion saying something like, This kid didn't even follow the experiment guidelines! Are you kidding me? Not even a sorry to the people you almost blew up? He just called out some kid for messing up their experiment. A kid that he probably injured in that explosion. I mean, at least some of the other students apologized, but there was not even a sign of remorse from this man. Oh, the things I did for education. Looking back at it now, I could just bring this up in a conversation like, So how did you promote in middle school? Oh, apparently for my school, one of the requirements were having to survive explosions. Hello everyone, welcome to the end cards. 
Uh, I just want to say Happy New Year's to everyone, you know, 2018. Hope it goes well. Uh, I wanted to make a little, quick little update. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on this channel now. I'm going to be uploading a lot more. And <laughs> I assure you, it's probably going to be a lot better than my first two couple videos. Um, if I can explain myself, I want... I, I had... When I was recording the audio, right? For the first few, I was recording it really late night. Because I... <laughs> I don't know, it was a really bad idea now that I'm looking back at it because of how monotone my voice ended up sounding. Like if you watch it now, just, let's just hold on, let me just pull it up here. Hey guys, it's me again. Ugh, yeah, hey guys, it's me again. Ah, disgusting, never click on that again. Uh, well, uh, aside from that, other than that, I just want to say, look forward to a lot more videos now, you know, I'm going to be posting a lot, new year, new me, haha. <laughs> And uh, before I cut to the bloopers here, I just wanted to say if that kid that was correcting the assignments is watching this video, you should probably stop blowing up other kids. It's not good. And the reward system. Eh. Pff, eh. I can't English. Some. Su cla so, eh. <laughs> the high school dude. It dude. Dude. <laughs> and when I walk toward. Oh my. The liquid is highly flammable. Flam flambable. It's actually the officer off of fur. He was the one in. Uh. But when I heard the loud pop, I stood. I stood. Uh. 